guys, welcome back to my channel again. This is my second video for the day, and this time I'm going to do a video about my luxury wish list for 2016. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm very excited when I do such wish list because it just makes me feel so motivated to, you know, start shopping again and uh, yeah, look at, you know, what are the interesting new items that is in the market right now. So in total, there are 16 items in my wish list, which is quite a lot. And uh, without further ado, let me just quickly show you. And uh, the first item in my list is the uh, Chanel Classic Flap Bag. And uh, the one that I am interested in is in the medium size. And as for color, I am still not sure what color I really want. And I think um, you guys are very familiar with the uh, Chanel Classic Flap. I do have one already and it's in the uh, jumbo size. So I was actually wondering whether should I get a wallet on chain or another, you know, a classic flap. Having a wallet on chain is also a good idea, but I couldn't put so much things inside. For that amount of money that I pay for a wallet on chain, I could just maybe top up a couple more thousand dollars to get a classic flap. For a classic flap, I was thinking of getting one in the caviar leather because, you know, mine currently right now is in the lambskin and I have to be very careful when I bring it out. So if I have one in the caviar leather, I could easily bring it out when I travel or, you know, just bring it out on the weekends. I also know that, you know, the price is increasing very often. So before it starts to increase even more, why not get my hands on one soon, right? And uh, secondly, the item that I want to get Okay, and it was my in my wish list last year, which I didn't manage to get, is the uh, Chanel Espadrille. Everyone in YouTube, I guess almost everyone in YouTube owns a pair of Chanel Espadrille except me. Well, I am always very hesitant. I was always wondering whether, you know, should I spend that money on a pair of shoes? Okay, and that money is not little, you know, it's quite a significant amount of money so that's the reason you know i didn't get it last year but um for this year i guess i should just you know buy a pair and you know that's it i've been hearing so many positive comments about you know this chanel espadrilles like they are comfortable they are fancy so i am really hoping to get one um you know a pair this year my third item is from cartier and uh, the item that i am interested in and hoping to get uh is this the love ring so a lot of people out there uh, they own the love bracelet so it's all under the same range which is the love range so they have bracelet they have earrings they have uh, rings so this is the love ring and if you can see it's very fancy so I really love the design it's slightly thick I've actually tried it on last year when I was at the boutique falling very much in love and I was actually planning to buy it when I go to Paris um, in December last year but you know I got pregnant and no traveling and stuff like that so in the end of the day I didn't buy it but um, I'm hoping to purchase it this year and uh, add it to my uh, jewelry collection and uh, the next item is from Dior and uh, this is something that I have already purchased and uh, I was actually planning to get this last year too and it's none other than the uh, Lady Dior. So this is of course a super duper iconic handbag. Mine was not set at the black uh, Lady Dior. I wanted some color to my Lady Dior because you know as they say you should carry a bag that reflects your you know your personality. So if you guys watch my previous video I actually purchased my Lady Dior in hot red. Super duper sexy red. And uh, it's also in patent leather. I truly love that purchase so much. And uh, for those of you who are planning to get one, I will definitely recommend that. But you may want to go to the boutique and have a feel. Because, uh, you know, assessing into that handbag is quite a challenge. But I will talk about that separately in my review video for that item. But yes, I have already obtained this item and I am a very, very proud owner of it. The next item in my wish list is also something that I just recently bought a couple of days ago. And it's none other than from MS, the Click Clack H 
bracelet so this is the one that i got in my wish list i actually wanted to buy two of it one is the one in orange the one that i actually purchased over here and uh, the next one is the one in red so why red is because i already purchased my lady dior and it's in red so i was hoping to get a bracelet that is also in red my next item is um, from MS and uh, this is definitely the holy grail bag and uh, of course I am referring to the Kelly bag okay the Kelly bag if I'm planning to go to Europe anytime soon this will definitely be in my shopping list for sure so this is the uh, Kelly bag and of course I am hoping to get my hands on the Birkin too and this is in orange I'm definitely hoping to get mine in orange and uh, why I love this uh, it's because I want it to match with my orange click clack H bracelets my next item will be from Louis Vuitton this is the zippy coin uh, wallet if I pronounce it correctly yeah and this is in the hot pink color in the epi leather I've been wanting you know pink color bags it can be wallets, it can be handbags so I am starting with you know this zippy coin purse and I think this will be very useful um, each time when I carry the smaller handbags like you know my boy bag and my you know my Chanel flat bag because those bags have very limited space inside and also another item from Louis Vuitton is this Emily wallet in the monogram and the interior is actually hot pink it's very very beautiful i love louis vuitton wallets because i already own two of them and uh, they have been serving me very very well no wear and tear and also because i take good care of my items too so um, i'm hoping to get this wallet you know to add to my louis vuitton collection i don't usually collect wallets but um i just couldn't help that you know this wallet has a hot pink interior so i'm hoping to get my hands on it really really soon before they are all sold out in singapore and as for handbags this is in my wish list too it's the neverfull mm size in the damia a band print well it was in my wish list last year but i was hesitant about whether to buy it or not why i didn't buy it in the end uh, it's because i felt that it's very commonly used in my country but in the end of the day i just couldn't help it i bought it this year so i'm very happy to purchase it okay my next item is also from louis vuitton and this item was very much inspired by uh, one of the youtubers out there and uh, her channel is called sieves closet so she just came back from paris and i saw she unboxed one of my oh that beautiful beautiful bag and, and it's none other than the cappuccines in the bb size and oh my god it's the color that kills me that made me feel very motivated to include it in my wish list this year and this is how the bag looks like all of you should know how the cappuccino looks like but this is in the hibiscus flamingo it's in hot pink they have it in the mm and also the gm size but i really hope that i could get my hands on this really really soon before the color you know is out of season the next item also in pink is the clunny okay this is um from louis vuitton the clunny or clooney bag and this is in the bb size and the color is in hot pink very beautiful um, I saw another um, YouTuber, um, Chase Amy, yeah, I think that's her channel. So she just got hers, but it's in the rose ballerine, ballerina or ballerina? Yeah, in the light pink color. So the one that I am very interested is in the one in hot pink. I think it's really cute. So this is definitely in my wish list, and I love that it has a handle, it has a shoulder strap. And uh, the next item, enough of Louis Vuitton. Right now, we are going into Valentino. So for Valentino, everyone is talking about the Valentino Rockstar. There are two items in my wish list that are related to this Rockstar. The first one is the Rockstar Studded Bow Flip Flops. Okay. There are flip-flops and they are in the rock start design. Look at that. Okay, it's in pink too. I couldn't help myself. It's in pink. It's so cute. They have it in many different colors. They got black, beige, and so on and so forth. 
but the one that I fancy right now it's in pink I don't mind going for the beige but the pink one is so so sweet and I think it will look very nice against my skin tone so I really hope that you know they have it in Singapore if they do not have I might consider getting it online you know at you know Selfridges and so on so my next item from Valentino is also another rockstar item and it's the ballerina flats is that what it is called if I'm not wrong and it's also in this very beautiful pink I'm not sure whether I could still get my hands on this color because um, it might be seasonal and uh, the common colors are the black or the red the blue or something like that but I really like this pink it's so so pretty and gorgeous right last but not least um, an accessory and it's from Tiffany & Co so if you guys watch my previous video I did mention that you know I have already owned the beads bracelet and I really hope to own something that is chunkier so uh, what I am hoping to get this year is the Heart Tech Charm bracelet and this is how it looks like it has a very chunky design and at the bottom here is the pendant that says Tiffany & Co so that's it for my 16 items in my wish list I really hope you enjoy watching me sharing with you guys my luxury wish list and if you guys have better ideas on what I should buy or what I should add into my list feel free to add in the comment section below and also uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please like and subscribe to this video and subscribe to the channel i will truly truly appreciate it okay so with that have an awesome awesome weekend and see you again bye